is your keyboard slowing you down more than your code? Typing all day on something that doesn't feel quite right can be surprisingly frustrating. A great keyboard can actually make programming way smoother and way less annoying. This video is all about the best keyboards for programming. I'll go through picks that fit a few different budgets, so you can find one that makes sense for what you're looking to spend. All the product links are down in the description if you want to check them out. And hey, if this helps you out, give the video a like and hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss more content like this. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments. I'll get back to you there. Let's get into the keyboards. Keychron V5 Max, best overall mechanical keyboard for programming. If you're looking for a keyboard that fits nicely between full size and compact, this one's worth a look. It keeps the number pad and arrow keys, but saves desk space by trimming some extra gaps. That layout is great for programming because it retains some navigation keys while removing outdated ones like page up and page down. The typing feel is a bit softer and springy thanks to its gasket mount design. Some say it has a nice thock sound that isn't too loud or pingy, which makes long coding sessions less tiring. The keycaps are made from double shot PBT, so they won't get shiny or worn down quickly. Always a plus when you're hammering away on code. One of the best parts, you can swap out switches easily without soldering. So if you wanna try different key feels, it won't be a pain. Plus it connects in three ways, Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz wireless or wired so you can use it with multiple devices without unplugging stuff all the time. If there's a downside, it's mostly about the plastic chassis feeling a bit lighter than metal boards, and a few users mentioned some key double strokes after heavy use. Still, it's a solid pick if you want premium features without going all in on a high-end keyboard. Logitech MX Keys S, best overall membrane keyboard for programming. This one is a sleek, low-profile keyboard that feels like it's built for long hours at the screen without leaving your wrists feeling like they went through a workout. The keys have this nice matte finish and a subtle curve that almost hugs your fingertips, which helps with accuracy. Fewer oops, wrong key moments. Plus, the typing noise is pretty quiet, so it's great if you're in a shared space or just don't want to announce every keystroke like a drum solo. One cool thing is the backlighting that senses when your hands come near and adjusts automatically. It's not flashing rainbow colors, just a clean white glow, which is easy on the eyes and doesn't distract. The battery life is solid too, lasting a long time unless you keep the lights on all the time. If you like customizing shortcuts or automating repetitive tasks, the companion software has got you covered with easy ways to remap keys and create macros, which can be a real time saver when debugging or refactoring code. On the downside, some folks find the keys a bit wobbly or loose, and it's fully wireless. No option for wired use if you prefer that. Also, it can be tricky to find in stock sometimes. For a quiet, comfy typing experience with smart features and decent customization, this one hits a nice balance in the mid to premium range. Royal Kludge RK84, best budget mechanical keyboard for programming. If you want a compact setup that doesn't skimp on essential keys like arrows, home, end, and function keys, this one fits the bill. It's got a 75% layout, meaning it's smaller than your usual full-size keyboard, but still leaves plenty of handy buttons without feeling cramped. Perfect if you like to keep your desk neat and want your mouse closer. The switches are pretty smooth, especially the yellow ones, which feel almost buttery and are great for fast typing or long coding sessions. They have short travel distance, so your fingers don't have to work too hard, which reduce fatigue after hours of debugging or writing lines of code. Plus, the sound is soft, so you're not disturbing the whole office or your roommates. It also offers wireless connectivity via Bluetooth and a 2.4 GHz dongle, though the Bluetooth is definitely the more reliable choice. The wired mode is stable, but the USB-C cable can sometimes feel a bit loose, so just be gentle with it. One thing to keep in mind, the software for customizing keys and lighting isn't exactly intuitive and can feel glitchy. So if you're not into deep tweaking, you might want to skip it. All in all, it's a budget-friendly pick with a solid typing experience, making it a smart choice if you want a functional, compact, mechanical keyboard without spending a fortune. Logitech K780, best budget membrane keyboard for programming. This keyboard has a neat shape 
those round keys aren't something you see every day, and they actually feel quite nice on your fingertips. Typing on it is quiet and smooth, which is great if you don't want to annoy anyone nearby or wake up the whole house at 2 a.m. while coding. This keyboard isn't mechanical. It uses those scissor-style keys that give you a bit of a tactile feel without being too loud or clacky. The keys have a short travel distance, so you don't have to slam them down, but they also don't feel mushy. That balance works well if you're typing a lot. One cool thing is the built-in cradle that holds your phone or tablet. So if you're switching between devices or need to glance at something on your phone while working, that's handy. Plus, it can connect to up to three devices at once and switch between them with a tap. Pretty useful if you juggle a laptop, phone, and tablet. Now, it's not perfect. The battery cover can be a bit flimsy, so you might have to tape it down if you want to avoid connection drops. Also, no backlighting here, which might be a bummer if you code in the dark. And don't expect fancy macro keys or custom shortcuts. You're limited on that front. Still, for a budget-friendly membrane keyboard, with solid typing comfort and multi-device support, it definitely makes a case. Just don't expect mechanical vibes or super flashy features. Keychron Q5 Max, best premium mechanical keyboard for programming. If you're looking for a keyboard that really feels like a premium tool for serious typing, this one might catch your eye. It's a mechanical keyboard with a full metal body that gives it a hefty quality vibe. You know, the kind of keyboard that stays put on your desk and doesn't slide around when you're smashing keys. The keycaps are thick PBT, which means they won't get shiny or sticky after a few months of heavy type. What's cool is how customizable it is. You can remap almost every key and even set up macros using the QMK or VIA software. That's a huge plus if you spend a lot of time debugging or refactoring, since you can speed up repetitive tasks without hunting through menus. It's got RGB lighting too, so if you like some color while coding, this keyboard delivers. But heads up, those lights can drain the battery faster if you keep them on bright. One thing to mention is the tall profile without adjustable feet. Some people might find that less comfy if they like to angle their keyboard differently. Also, a few users say the spherical keycaps take a bit of getting used to because your fingers don't just glide over them. If you want a premium mechanical keyboard that's built like a tank, offers serious customization and looks slick, this could be a great fit. Just be ready for a bit of a learning curve on the feel and the price tag. Finding the right keyboard can make coding way more comfortable and even fun. Whether you want something simple or packed with extras, there's definitely a keyboard out there that fits your vibe. If you're interested in any of the keyboards we talked about, I've dropped the links in the description. Make sure to like this video if it helped, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on new stuff. And leave a comment telling me which one caught your eye. Also, check out our other videos for more tech reviews. Thanks for watching.